So in this video, I'm going to be talking about alg inversion and how you can use that technique to substantially increase your alg knowledge. So let's first start off with a pair of examples. We have this OLL case where you have just this T OLL and these two headlights. If you don't know the alg for this, this video is probably not for you, but it's very simple, just F sexy F prime. And now the inverse of that is just F inverse sexy and F prime, which is exactly this OLL, like so. So that's the basic idea of inversion. So you would have an alg, and then you can possibly invert that alg to get another alg to solve another case. That's the whole idea of alg inversion. If you don't know how inversion works or how to inverse an alg, uh, there I think there are plenty of tutorials online. And this video is not for teaching how to invert an alg. This video is mainly to show its application in, uh, in a few examples. <coughs> So I'll show four examples of UZBLLs and how you can convert these into uh, TZBLLs. So the UZBLLs I'll be showing in this video are all uh, have the same corner pattern. So you have these two are opposite and these two are opposite as well. So the first case is when you have this block and this block right here. So you start from this angle and you do an alg like this. And then you do a commutator and then you cancel into this pair. But you can also invert that alg onto this case uh, where you have these two are opposite and these two are the same on a TZBLL case. You also have a block and a block here. And for this case, you do the exact inverse of that alg. Like this, and then just solve these. And you have two ZBLLs. So this inversion technique is, uh, can be mainly used for ZBLs because for all else, you don't really use this technique that much and you can learn 57 algorithms pretty pretty easily, at least compared to, you know, about 500 algs for ZBL. Uh, but yeah, I th uh, especially for ZBLL or TZBLL or LZBL for those transitions, if you, uh, for example, take an UZBL and invert it, you'll most likely get a TZBL or an LZBL. It's, it can be very, very, very useful in these three sets. So the second case is, again, the this corner pattern and the singular block on this side, nothing else. So you do this alg. And if you invert that, uh, I'll let you work out the inversion yourself, but I'll just show the alg. Uh, you have the exact same pace on the same corner pattern on TZBLL, uh, and you have this singular block at the back right here. So it goes like this. You'll notice that if you invert the same corner patterns uh, case, uh, you'll get also the same corner pattern on the inversion case. It's just a pattern you can notice. <clears throat> Let's move on to the third one. Again, same corner pattern, but here you have these two blocks on this side. So the alg you do is, first of all, you do sexy. Uh, but basically, it's like an in, like an extended version of the sexy. So it's like this. And then here you do a commutator. And then you cancel into inserting this last pair. And if you invert that again, you will get this case where you, again, you have this corner pattern and the same sort of block pattern. So from this angle, you do this. And then this switcher variation. Yeah. And finally, for the last case, I'll just show this very br briefly. Um, you have this block on the right and nothing else, uh, which is, I think, the mirror case of the second case that I showed. So you do this, you take this pair out from the back, and then you insert it like so. And for this alc, um, you only have this block at the front of this case and you hold it here from here you do this and then insert at the back so those were eight zbl cases four of which if you learn four of them then you basically know the other four so that's the power of inversion. You can just invert any alg, practically any alg on UZBL, and then you would get a reasonably good alg for a corresponding T or LZBL. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and be sure to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.